After serving free community meals for about a year, state regulations forced the Emily Wesleyan Church to close its kitchen. Tonight, months of fundraising and a full-scale renovation paid off as they began serving again. Becky Parker tells us how the community welcomed back the chance to share food and friendship. A meal program that combats hunger and loneliness is back in business. The Emily Wesleyan Church's Care and Share program served its first meal in nine months. It's good to be serving the community and uh, being a part of of bringing people together again. By last April, the free weekly dinners were drawing crowds of 150 to 200 people. So the state health department came in to inspect the church kitchen. They concluded that it would need to be brought up to commercial standards to the tune of $150,000. They basically ask us to shut down the program until we made some major changes. Disappointed but determined, volunteers began fundraising and the public came to the rescue. The community has been great. The distant community has been great. I mean, we got money from and help from everywhere. With the updates to the kitchen finally complete, the Care and Share crew got the program back up and running and the community was right there with them. It's really wonderful for all of this community to be able to come somewhere and then and then have food, good food, quality food, and the companionship of other people. The loss of the program was hard on the community. The food shelf has been extra busy this year over through the winter months, uh, and I think a lot of it has been because the, the Care and Share Cafe has not been open. My husband was laid off, so being able to come somewhere to eat was crucial. It was a hard winter not having it. Now that Karen Share is back with an up-to-code kitchen, they look forward to serving meals for years to come. Becky Parker, Lakeland News.